It won't be too long before the 2024 PBA season is upon us and it's never too early to make some predictions. 2023 saw its fair share of first-time winners as well as some very familiar faces. There were a number of players who had high expectations for this season, but for one reason or another, things didn't quite work out as expected. In this video, we're going to look at some of the players who I think will have a strong 2024 season and will end up winning. Now, I'm not going to be including the big names in this list as it's fairly obvious that guys like EJ Tackett, Belmonte, Anthony Simonson, Carl Troop, etc. will be regularly competing for titles and will likely win some. Instead, we're going to be looking at players who are long overdue a win and look poised to have a bounce back season. So let's get this list started with number one, AJ Johnson. Back in September, AJ Johnson won the Storm Lucky Last Masters in Sweden for his first PBA title. This was a long time coming for AJ and he's been knocking on the door for some time now. Now that he's managed to win that elusive first title, I think there's definitely more titles to come for him in 2024. For me, it's only a matter of time before he wins on US soil this time and it wouldn't surprise me if he pulls out a win at a major event. Now the monkey is off his back, I predict 2024 will bring at least a second title for AJ. Number 2. Marshall Kent A player who's been quite frustrating to watch on television, he's got so much talent, but things just haven't gone right for him, particularly on TV. He's won 5 PBA titles, although it should be said that one of these was in Saudi Arabia, one was from a team event and a third was at a doubles event with EJ Tackett and this was his most recent win coming in 2022. His best year was probably in 2017 when he won two singles titles but has not won another since. We did see him on TV in 2023 and he's had four top 10 finishes in total this season alone but I think he's definitely overdue a title. If he can build on his performances from this year and make a couple of shows, I think he has a real shot at winning a title in 2024. Number 3. Stuart Williams Another player who's been on a significant title drought. He currently has two PBA titles to his name. The first came in 2011 at the Viper Open and the second in 2018 at the Tulsa Open. Early on in the 2023 season, Williams had some fantastic performances and there were a couple of tournaments where he was right at the top of the leaderboard but just ended up falling short of making the telecast. He did make one of the play-in telecasts at the Tournament of Champions as the number 10 seed, but lost in his first match against Chris Vai. But I think these performances are encouraging signs, and I certainly think Williams has more titles in him, and I just have a feeling that 2024 might be the season that sees Williams collect his third PBA title. Number 4. Chris Vai Somehow Chris Vai only has one PBA title, a win at the 2021 US Open. 2023 saw Vi put out some excellent performances and we did see him on TV during two majors, but it would not result in a second title. He finished seventh on the 2023 ranking list and had a total of seven top 10 finishes. If he carries this sort of form into next season, he's going to make telecasts and will give himself an excellent chance to win again. He's too talented not to and he's put in some excellent performances in major events over the years. For example, he bowled a televised 300 game at the PBA Players Championship and another 300 in the PBA Tour Finals, both of these coming in 2021. And this made him the first player to bowl multiple televised 300 games in the same season. He's got endless amounts of talent and given his performances this season, I can confidently say he's going to be in contention throughout the 2024 season. Number 5. Kevin McCune A player who only recently entered the winner's circle, but McCune really did turn heads with his performance at the 2023 PBA Players' Championship. He faced Jacob Buttroff in the final and it was a best of five format. McCune made quick work of Buttroff winning in commanding fashion, three games to zero. McCune impressed many with how he fires the ball down the lane, reminiscent of his father, Eugene McCune. Kevin is just 24 years of age and now he has his first title, a major, under his belt. I think more titles are definitely on the horizon. Number 6. Sean Rash 
Rash has been battling injuries for most of the season, but we still saw flashes of the old Sean Rash, which I think shows he's still more than capable of winning on tour. Overall, it wasn't the best of seasons for Rash, but he did make the show at the USBC Masters that ended up finishing fourth, and he also had a second place finish at the Roth Holman doubles event. And if we look at previous seasons, it actually hasn't been that long since Rash won on tour. He won a title in 2021, two titles in 2020, and two titles in 2019. So this proves that he still stayed competitive on tour for many, many years. I thought he might have won one in 2023, but injuries certainly did not help. If he can put these behind him, he's more than capable of winning again. The fact that this season wasn't a great one for Sean overall, but he still made two shows and had a deep run at a major shows what a talent he is. And even just with all of his experience alone, I just don't think that you can count him out. And that will bring us to an end of this list. This was quite difficult picking out some of these players because there are so many you could make cases for. And there's a lot of players who have yet to win on the tour who have been getting close. The problem is it's quite hard to tell sometimes whether they're going to break out and actually get a title and when that will be. So I decided to look more at players who have been performing extremely well, players who've won on the tour, but either players who perhaps haven't yet won as many titles as they should, or players who have won a lot, but have been on a significant title drought. So what I did for this list is I went back and looked at a lot of the statistics from this season, looked at where they finished, how many shows they'd made, their caches, and kind of just used this as an indication to see where their performance were heading. And you can definitely see a trend with a lot of players when you compare it to even last season. And I just thought there was a lot of players who were getting close, but a lot of the times they were getting stopped by either EJ Tackett, Anthony Simonson, Jason Belmonte, those kind of players. But I think that a lot of these players on the list generally have an extremely good chance of winning next season. But of course, you might completely disagree with my list. And if that's the case, head over to the comment section and let me know which player you think will win a title in 2024. I have to say that already I'm extremely excited for the new season and I can't wait to see which players will impress us all. But just like every season, I'm sure there will be a few shocks and surprises along the way. And that will be it for today. Thank you very much everyone for watching and as always, thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.